Hey class, hi, hello, namaste, adabha, sasriyakal, assalamu alaikum, wanna come and come again to all of you. Welcome to today's class and as you all know, this is your CBSE grade 9 and this is session 2 for your topic quadrilaterals. In the first session, I have completed the types of quadrilateral and their properties. In this session, I will be talking about the midpoint theorem. Got it? So this, this part is uh, really very important. Okay, considering your examination point of view, midpoint theorem is a very important part and uh, you need to understand this theorem very well and its converse as well. So we'll be discussing both the parts, the midpoint theorem as well as the converse of midpoint theorem. Uh, we are going to discuss both of them. So let us start the class. Okay. But before that, we'll be discussing the homework question which I have given you in the previous class, right? So this was your homework question which I gave you in the previous class that uh, the angles of a quadrilateral are in this ratio, find all the angles of a quadrilateral. So as you all know, this is a very easy topic. Okay, we know that the sum of the interior angles of the triangle will be 360 degree. So if the angles are 3 is to 5 is to 9 is to 13, if that is the ratio, one angle I can take it as 3x, other as 5x, other as 9x and other as 13x, right? Because I can multiply the ratio with a common multiple, right? So some of these should be 360 degree. So 3x plus 5x plus 9x plus 13x is equal to 360 degree. So you'll be getting 3 plus 5, 8. 8 plus 9 is 17. 17 plus 13 will be 30x. So 30x is equal to 360 degree. So x is equal to 360 upon 30. So that is x is equal to 12. x is 12, not the angles. x is 12. So the angles, one is 3x. So 3 into 12, which is 36 degree. Other is 5x. So 5 into 12, which is 60 degree. The, nine, the third one is 9x, so which is 9 into 12, which is equal to 108. And the last one, 13x, so which is 13 into 12. And uh, it will be equal to 144 plus this, 156. Right, so these will be your four angles. These will be your four angles of that quadrilateral. These are the four angles of that quadrilateral. Okay, now to move today's topic, we have midpoint theorem. So first, let's understand what is midpoint theorem. Then we will see the proof of it. Okay, then we'll see the proof. So first, the midpoint theorem says the line segment joining the midpoints of two sides of a triangle. So the line segment, which is joining the midpoints of two uh, uh, the midpoints of two sides of a triangle. So you only focus on this part triangle ABC. If you have a triangle ABC, okay, if you have a triangle ABC in which I give you that E is the midpoint of AB and F is the midpoint of AC. E is the midpoint of AB and F is the midpoint of AC. Then if I join the line EF, if I join E and F, so this line EF, we will get a line EF. So the line joining midpoints of two sides of a triangle. So one is side is AB, other side is AC. So there are midpoints if I join them through a line. So this line, this EF will be parallel to the third side and half of it. Got it? So I will say that suppose if E is midpoint of AB, and F is midpoint of AC. If it is given, if it is given to you, so this is your condition, this is your condition that if it is given to you, then I can say then the line EF will be parallel to BC, the third side. They go AB has a midpoint, AC has the midpoint. So the third remaining side, EF will be parallel to BC and EF will be half of BC. Got it. This is the result that we get. Then EF will be parallel to BC and EF will be half of BC. If E and F both are the midpoints of two sides of a triangle, the line joining them will be parallel to the third side and half of it and half of it parallel to third side and half of it. That is also there. Okay. And half of it. How do you prove this part? Proving of midpoint theorem is very important. So let us look at the proof. Take a better. Let us look at the proof. 
सो प्रूफ है द फर्स्ट थिंग यार वॉट इज गिवन तो प्रूफ के लिए वी नीड टू फर्स्ट थिंग वॉट इज द गिवन पार्ट सो गिवन इज ए एंड ई बी विल बी इक्वल बिकॉज ई इज द मिड पॉइंट ए ई इज इक्वल टू ई बी एंड ए एफ इज इक्वल टू एफ सी ए एफ इज इक्वल टू एफ सी राइट दीज टू थिंग्स आर गिवन टू अस ओके नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डू वन कंस्ट्रक्शन ठीक है सो आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट दीज दिस ट्राइंगल ए बी सी ABC is my triangle and EF is the line joining the midpoints. EF is the line joining the midpoints. So now we need to do one construction. What is that construction? Let's look at the construction part. So the construction will be the the diagram you need to remember and the construction. So the construction is what we are going to do from this point C. From C we will draw a line. From C draw a line parallel to AB. so this line ab and this line from c they should be parallel so construction is what from c draw a line parallel to ab intersecting ef extended this line ef if i will extend it will intersect ef extended at d so this line ef you need to extend this line ef you have extended from c you have drawn a line parallel to ab so this line is intersecting the extended line at d got it this is what is my construction so from c i have drawn a line parallel to ab and ef i have extended both are intersecting at this point d this is my construction part ओके अब देखो बेटा भाई फर्स्ट थिंग व्हिच आई कैन से कि सर आई कैन सी वन थिंग ओवर हियर कि टू ट्रायंगल्स आई हैव विद मी है ना आई कैन सी टू ट्रायंगल्स व्हिच टू ट्रायंगल्स आई वांट यू टू फोकस सो आई वांट यू टू फोकस ऑन दीस टू ट्रायंगल्स ओके द फर्स्ट ट्रायंगल वेयर आई वांट यू टू फोकस इज दिस ट्रायंगल ए दिस इज नॉट मच विजिबल लेट मी यूज अ रेड कलर हां so one triangle where i want to focus is your triangle aef and the other triangle where i want you to focus is c uh, cdf so these two triangles we'll try to prove them congruent so i can say sir in triangle aef and triangle cdf theek hai beta dekho first thing I know that AB and the CD they both are parallel by construction. By construction, we know that AB and CD will be parallel, है ना? We know by construction that AB is parallel to CD. Correct. So if these two are parallel to each other, I can see AC is acting as a transversal, and this angle will be equal to this angle because of interior alternate angle. AC is a transversal. One angle over here, one angle over there, right? So first thing I can say, sir, angle EAF is equal to angle DCF because of interior alternate angle. ठीक है बेटा? The other thing I can say that, sir, this angle AFE is equal to this angle CFD. Angle AFE is equal to angle CFD. and the reason is vertically opposite angles they both are vertically opposite angles and i know f is the midpoint so af is equal to fc af is equal to fc it is given so which rule it is angle side angle angle side angle so i can say sir by angle side angle rule triangle aef is congruent to triangle cd triangle aef is congruent to triangle cdf these two triangles are congruent to each other so if these two triangles are congruent to each other what i can say by cpct what are the things which i can say by cpct okay so i can say the results by cpct okay by cpct i can say first thing that's at this ae 
is equal to CD corresponding sides. So AE is equal to CD, right? And then I can say, ki, sir, this EF and FD are also equal. EF is equal to FD, right? These things I can say on the basis of CP, CT because these two triangles I have got congruent because these two triangles I have got congruent. Now look at the first result. We know AE is equal to CD and we know AE is equal to EB as well. AE and CD are equal. AE and EB are also equal. So let's say this is your first equation. Uh, that Let's say this is, this will be needed or not. Chalo. Let's say this is your first equation. Let's say this is your second equation. Just naming it. So I can say sir by first and second equation. We can clearly say AE is equal to BE is equal to CD. All three of them are equal to each other. All three of them are equal to each other. Got it? Take care. So these are my result and let's name it third equation, equation three. Take care. So we know AE, BE and CD all are equal to each other. Okay. So my diagram is AE, BE, CD all are equal to each other, AF and FC are equal and EF and ED are equal. Okay, then uh, this is the part which I know right now and this AB is parallel to CD. These are the things which we know. Now, beta, let's look at the quadrilateral B, C, D, E. Okay, I can say, sir, in quadrilateral B, C, D, E. By first thing I know that BE and CD are equal to each other. BE and BE is equal to CD. And we have just got this result. BE is equal to CD. BE is equal to CD and and dekho, bhai, I know that AB and CD are parallel. So if AB and CD are parallel, any part of AB also will be parallel to CD. So I can say BE is parallel to CD. So, beta, if you remember, in the last class, I have told you that the condition for any quadrilateral to be a parallelogram is that either you prove both the opposite sides are parallel or any one pair of sides are equal as well as parallel. So, here in quadrilateral B, C, D, E, you can see B, E and C, D are equal as well as they are parallel. So, we can clearly say B, C, D, E is a parallelogram. Those who are facing any difficulty here, please watch the first session in that I have clearly told how do you prove any quadrilateral to be a parallelogram or to be a rectangle, to be a rhombus, to be a square, everything I have mentioned in detail. Okay, so BCDE is a parallelogram. Okay, so if BCDE is a parallelogram, I can say in a parallelogram opposite sides are equal, right? So we know that since BCDE is a parallelogram, since this is a parallelogram, I can say one thing for sure from here so first thing i can say ki sir this side ed is parallel to bc this whole side ed is parallel to bc and if ed and bc are parallel any part of ed will also be parallel to bc so then i can say then sir ef is also parallel to bc so they go first part we have got ef and bc are parallel to each other second part which i want is they are that ef is half of bc Okay. Also, second thing I can say, beta, that sir, this ED is equal to BC because opposite sides are equal in a parallelogram. In a parallelogram, opposite sides are equal. ED can be written as EF plus FD is equal to BC. Now, EF and FD both are equal to each other. So, in place of FD, again, I can write EF only because both are equal to each other is equal to BC. So twice of EF is equal to BC and I can say EF is equal to half of BC. Got it? So this is how you have got both the results. Hence proved. Got it? This is how this part will be proved. So the, the diagram, if you remember the diagram, na, the proof is very easy. Many students, what they will do, they will start remembering it, ki which is what, which is what. Just remember the diagram. When you remember the diagram, you will get to know ki first I need to prove these two triangles congruent. And from that, I need to prove the lower part as a parallelogram. Bus. 
two steps you need to remember it first thing you need to put these prove these two triangles congruent and after proving them congruent prove the lower quadrilateral as a parallelogram then you will get your result the rest depends upon your practice got it so this is how the convert uh, the midpoint theorem will be proved that in a triangle the line joining midpoints of any two sides of a triangle is parallel to the third side and half of it okay so this is how this part is proved ab the converse of midpoint theorem also exist the converse of midpoint theorem also exists so what is the converse theorem it says ki now earlier you knew that both e and f are the midpoints both e and f are the midpoints this time i am saying ki this time you know only e is the midpoint this time you know only e is the midpoint so e is the midpoint now from this e from this e if you draw a line parallel to bc okay from the midpoint of any one side of a triangle if you draw a line parallel to this side bc or any side of the triangle then this line will intersect the third side dekho one side is ab then this line ef i have drawn parallel to bc so this is my second side so this line ef will intersect the third side at its midpoint so by result f also will be the midpoint so a line drawn through the midpoint of one side of a triangle parallel to another side bisect the third side got it so what will say ki suppose e is midpoint if e is midpoint of ab and ef is parallel to bc if it is given to me then i can clearly say f is midpoint <clears throat> of ac f is midpoint of ac got it so the midpoint theorem is used to prove that the lines are parallel okay and the converse is used to find that this f will be the midpoint got it so converse is used to get the value uh, to get that f is the midpoint now the proof of the converse theorem is exactly same as the proof of midpoint theorem only thing is we will go opposite hai na earlier in the proof of midpoint theorem first we have proved congruency and then we have proved the trap the quadrilateral to be a parallelogram here we'll go opposite direction we'll move in the opposite direction okay so see what is given to me in this part what is given to me okay so i have this triangle abc i have this triangle abc in which e is the midpoint and ef and bc are parallel to each other ef is parallel to bc okay this is what is given to me so given <coughs> ae is equal to be and ef is parallel to bc it is given to prove what we need to prove to prove that f is midpoint of ac f is midpoint of ac matlab what i need to prove that af is equal to fc that is what i need to prove theek hai beta so here also we need to first do one construction hai na here also we need to do one construction so the construction is same as the previous part construction is very same as the previous one from c draw a line parallel to ab intersecting ef extended at b so from c you have drawn this line okay you have drawn this line which is parallel to ab also this ef you have extended so that they both are intersecting at d they both are intersecting at d theek hai beta ab dekho i can say that sir in quadrilateral first thing i can say that sir in quadrilateral b c d e to in quadrilateral b c d e dekho first thing to beta i know ki sir if ab is parallel to cd if ab is parallel to cd then i can say for sure any part of ab also is parallel to cd so i can say sir be 
इज पैरल टू सी डी ठीक है बीई एंड सी डी आर पैरल सेकेंड थिंग इफ ई एफ इज पैरल टू बी सी इट इज गिवन ई एफ एंड बी सी आर पैरल सो इफ पी एफ ई एफ इज पैरल टू बी सी द एक्सटेंडेड पार्ट ऑफ ई एफ ऑल्सो विल बी पैरल टू बी सी सो आई कैन से देन ई डी ऑल्सो विल बी पैरल टू बी सी ठीक है बेटा अब देखो यू हैव अ क्वारी लेटर इन विच दिस साइड एंड दिस साइड आर पैरल टू ईच अदर ओके दिस साइड एंड दिस साइड आर ऑल्सो पैरल टू ईच अदर करेक्ट है पैरल आ रहा है सो इफ बोथ द साइड बोथ द पेयर ऑफ अपोजिट साइड आर पैरल आई कैन क्लियरली से बी सी डी ई इज अ पैरलोग्राम आई कैन से बी सी डी ई इज अ पैरलोग्राम ठीक है बी सी डी ई इज अ पैरलोग्राम Got it? So we have got this part की ठीक है सर बी सी डी ई इज अ पैरलोग्राम अब इफ इट इज अ पैरलोग्राम अब अगर ये अगर पैरलोग्राम है बेटा इफ इट इज अ पैरलोग्राम तो वॉट वी विल डू लेट्स डू वन थिंग तो फ्रॉम फ्रॉम दिस पार्ट वी गॉट टू नो कि ठीक है सर इफ दे आर पैरलोग्राम द अपोजिट साइड मस्ट बी इक्वल द अपोजिट साइड मस्ट बी इक्वल तो आई कैन से सर सर बी ई इज इक्वल टू सी डी BE is equal to CD. Also we know AE and BE are also equal. तो भाई AE and BE are equal, BE and CD are equal. So we can say AE is equal to BE is equal to CD. All three are equal to each other. All three are equal to each other. ठीक है? Now we will come to the part of proving the triangles congruent. Okay. so we will take this triangle and this triangle theek hai we will take these two triangles we know ae be and cd are equal to each other as well as this ab and cd are parallel to each other as well so if they are parallel i can clearly say this angle and this angle will be equal hai na so now i can say sir in triangle aef and triangle CDF. First thing, angle EAF is equal to angle uh, DCF because of interior alternate angle, right? Correct. That is the first thing. Now second thing, ये बेटा देखो कि भाई then AE and CD will also be parallel, ना? If AB and CD are parallel, I can say AE and CD are also parallel, right? So I can say कि sir, this angle and this angle also will be equal because this is also an interior alternate angle in this case ed is the transversal ae and cd are parallel to each other so we will say that sir angle aef is equal to angle cdf the reason is again interior alternate angle okay and then i can say sir ae and cd are equal to each other AE is equal to CD. We have proved it already. AE and CD are equal. देख लो यहाँ पे. AE and CD are equal. We have got it. ठीक है. So I can say sir by angle side angle rule. So by angle side angle rule, ASA rule, I can say triangle AEF is congruent to triangle CDF. And if they both are congruent to each other, we can clearly say if they both are congruent to each other. I can say that sir by CPCT by corresponding parts of the congruent triangles we can clearly say AF is equal to AF is equal to FC and if AF and FC are equal to each other that means F is the midpoint that means F is the midpoint so AF is equal to FC and if it is true I can clearly say F is midpoint of AC. बस डन गॉट इट सो द प्रूफ आर सिमिलर है ना इफ यूल प्रैक्टिस इट इन गुड अमाउंट ऑफ टाइम यूल गेट टू नो द पैटर्न इन द कन्वर्स पार्ट वी जस्ट डू द अपोजिट ऑफ वॉट वी हैव डन इन द प्रूफ ऑफ मिड पॉइंट सो द प्रूफ आर वेरी रिलेटेड प्रैक्टिस इट टू थ्री टाइम्स एंड यू विल गेट द प्रूफ है ना एंड रिमेंबर द डायग्राम यू मस्ट रिमेंबर द डायग्राम एंड द कंस्ट्रक्शन पार्ट आफ्टर दैट इट्स वेरी इजी मेनी पीपल फाइंड इट डिफिकल्ट बिकॉज बाय लुकिंग एट द साइंस but just see the concept understand the concept remember the diagram and the construction part what is the construction you will be able to connect everything very easily you will be able to connect everything very easily so this is your midpoint theorem and the converse of midpoint theorem along with the proof let's look at some question
Okay. So the question here says P, Q, R and S are respectively the midpoints of side A, B, B, C, C, D and D, A of a quadrilateral A, B, C, D. Show that P, Q is parallel to A, C and P, Q is half of A, C. Now tell me one thing. I know P is the midpoint of A, B. So that means this side and this side is equal. This and this is equal. Okay. This and this is equal. This and this is equal. Okay, it might not look like that, but it is equal. It is not looking like that. He said they are not looking equal. It is a rough diagram. Correct. So, beta, if you will focus in triangle ABC, so I can say, sir, in triangle ABC, they go. P is midpoint of AB, right? And Q is midpoint of BC. So in triangle ABC, if P is the midpoint of AB, Q is the midpoint of BC. So the line joining midpoints of two sides of a triangle, P and Q. So this PQ will be parallel to AC using midpoint theorem. So then I can say, sir, using midpoint theorem, I can clearly say, sir, PQ is parallel to AC and PQ is half of AC. See how easy it is. First part proved. Second part, what they are saying? Second part is prove PQ is parallel to SR. A bit of the way you have used the midpoint theorem in triangle ABC, same way in triangle ADC also we can use. In triangle ADC, yaar we know that R is midpoint, midpoint of CD and S is midpoint of AD. Correct. So I can clearly say using MPT, using midpoint theorem, using midpoint theorem, I can say SR is also parallel to AC and SR is also equal to half of AC. So SR and AC are also parallel. Okay, beta. So now see, this part, mein, from this and this. PQ and SR both are parallel to AC. So I can clearly say they are parallel to each other. I can say PQ is parallel to SR as well. PQ and SR are parallel. Okay. Also, PQ is half of AC. SR is also half of AC. So PQ and SR both are equal. So PQ and SR both are also equal. So PQ and SR are parallel as well as equal. I can say PQRS is a parallelogram. Dekhlo, how easy is this proof? How easy is this proof? Got it? So with the help of midpoint theorem, the question becomes very easy. You just have to understand the question. Okay, let's look at the next question. But before that, let me tell you all that whatever problems you are facing in wherever you are studying, you must be facing one or the uh, other problem out of these all. Maybe your doubts are not taken care in time. Tests are not taken regularly. Uh, competitive examination preparation, you don't know what to do in that case, right? So all these problems you will not face at Vedanto because in each and every class, doubts will be solved by a dedicated teacher. Notes and assignments will be provided to you for each and every class. The test will be taken in a regular interval of time that to on your examination pattern. Okay, competitive examinations like NTSC, KBPY, Olympiad, no need to go for anywhere else. All of you can prepare for that at Vedanto itself. Schedule, that is suppose if you miss your class because of some reason, you can always, you can always join, you can always watch the recording of that class and feel like you have not missed on anything. Right, but you know in school, if you are absent for one day, how much it hampers your education, right? Uh, one day, I don't know about other subjects, but in maths, suppose if I'm teaching the proof of midpoint theorem and you are absent on that day, so how difficult it becomes for you to understand that again and you will be facing and you will start fearing that chapter. So that will not happen at Vedantu because if you are missing the class, you can always watch that recording and you will feel like you have studied everything. And then the choice of language that is Hindi or English. Okay. Other than that, you get unlimited live classes. All micro and crash courses are free of cost to you. Crash courses are the revision course. Micro courses are the chapter specific courses. So you can study a chapter as many times as you want, whenever you want. Performance report and personalized attention. So to register for this course, you need to go to this link vdnt.in slash ytpro. After going there, if you will apply the coupon code while paying the fee, if you apply the coupon code GPE Pro, you will get 15% off. You will get 15% off. 
So I'll tell you the fee details at the end of the class also. So let's look at some more questions. Okay, next question they go. Show shown the adjoining figure. Shown the adjoining figure. ABCD is a trapezium in which AB and pair DC are parallel to each other. So these details you can mark in the diagram as well. AB and CD are parallel. PQ are the midpoints of AD and BC. So P is the midpoint over here. Q is the midpoint over here. Okay. DQ and AB produced to meet at E. TK also AC and PQ intersect at R. Okay, we saw that. Prove that DQ is equal to QE. What we need to prove? We need to prove that this DQ is equal to QE. Now, let's see. In this part, I can very well see that sir, I can see two triangles. One is your triangle DCQ, and one is your triangle BQE. These two triangles you can also see, correct? So I can see the first part in triangle DCQ and triangle EBQ. Okay. First thing, देखना बेटा. यार I know this angle and this angle will be equal to each other. Interior alternate angle. So angle DCQ is equal to angle EBQ. The result is interior alternate angle. Why? Because देखो बेटा, if AB is parallel to CD, then obviously the extended side of AB, that is AE, will also be parallel to CD. Okay. So these two are interior alternate angle. Then this angle at Q, they are forming vertically opposite angle. So angle CQD. is equal to angle bqe the result is vertically opposite angles and between these two angles we have the side which side we have we have cq is equal to bq cq is equal to bq because q is the midpoint so angle side angle rule so i can say sir by asa rule triangle dcq is congruent to triangle ebq And if they are congruent, I can clearly say by CPCT. By CPCT, I can say DQ is equal to QE. Right? We have got DQ is equal to QE. Second, prove that PR is parallel to AB. Okay. Second part, me we need to prove that PR is parallel to AB. ठीक है सर सो आई हैव टू प्रूव इन अ वे कि सर दिस लाइन पी आर इज गोइंग टू बी पैरल टू ए बी राइट दैट इज वॉट दे वॉन्ट मी टू प्रूव दैट इज वॉट दे वॉन्ट मी टू प्रूव तो ठीक है बेटा अब उसके लिए क्या करेंगे देखो लुक एट दिस फिगर आई नीड टू प्रूव एनी हाउ दैट दिस पॉइंट पी आर दिस पॉइंट पी आर इज पैरल टू दिस पार्ट ए बी पॉइंट पी आर Is parallel to AB. अब एक बात बताओ बेटा भाई फर्स्ट थिंग आई कैन से सर सिंस डी क्यू इज इक्वल टू क्यू ई सो क्यू इज द मिड पॉइंट ऑफ आई कैन क्लियरली से फ्रॉम हियर क्यू इज मिड पॉइंट ऑफ डी राइट नाउ लुक इन दिस ट्राइंगल डी ए लुक इन दिस ट्राइंगल डी ए भाई इन ट्राइंगल डी ए यू नो In triangle DAE, P is midpoint of AD. Yes. Q is midpoint of DE. Yes. So the line joining the midpoints of any two sides of a triangle will be parallel to third side. So I can say PQ is parallel to AE. Now, beta, if PQ and AE are parallel, any part of theirs also will be parallel to each other. So I can say that means PR will be parallel to AB. That means PR will be parallel to AB. So this is how this question can be solved. First, first part by congruency of triangle, and the second part using the midpoint theorem. So here I have used MPT midpoint theorem. Using the midpoint theorem, this question can be solved. Okay, let's go for the next question. Next question, they go. What the next question is saying? In the adjoining figure, AD and BE are the medians. All of you know the meaning of the medians. Right. What is the median? Median is the line joining the midpoint of the side of a triangle with the opposite vertex. 
सो इफ ए डी एंड बी आर द मीडियंस तो आई कैन क्लियरली से बी डी एंड सी डी आर इक्वल टू इच अदर एंड ए एंड ई सी आर इक्वल टू इच अदर गॉट इट दिस इज द पार्ट राइट ई इज द मिड पॉइंट ऑफ और आई कैन से ई इज द मिड पॉइंट ऑफ ए सी बी इज द मिड पॉइंट ऑफ बी सी दिस इज अनदर वे ऑफ राइटिंग ई इज मिड पॉइंट ऑफ ए सी एंड डी इज मिड पॉइंट ऑफ बी सी दैट इज अनदर वे ऑफ राइटिंग मिड पॉइंट वेन दे आर गिविंग मीडियंस ओके ऑफ ट्राइंगल ए बी सी एंड डी एफ इज पैरल टू बी ई ओके डी एफ एंड बी ई आर गिवन पैरल यस सर वी कैन सी हियर डी एफ एंड बी ई आर पैरल शो दैट सी एफ इज वन बाई फोर टाइम्स ऑफ ए सी वॉट वी नीड टू शो सी एफ इज वन बाई फोर टाइम्स ऑफ ए सी ठीक है सर अब देखो यार वन थिंग आई कैन से बेटा फोर श्योर सिंस ई इज द मिड पॉइंट ऑफ ए सी आई कैन क्लियरली से दैट सर ए इज इक्वल टू ई सी इज इक्वल टू हाफ ऑफ ए सी राइट ना यार ऑब्वियसली भाई ए एंड ई सी बोथ विल बी इक्वल एंड दे बोथ आर इक्वल टू ए सी बाय टू हाफ ऑफ ए सी सो दिस पार्ट इज ए सी बाय टू दिस पार्ट ऑल्सो इज ए सी बाय टू ई सी इज ऑल्सो ए सी बाय टू ठीक है अब लुक एट दिस ट्राइंगल ट्राइंगल बी सी ई लुक एट द ट्राइंगल बी सी ई अब इन ट्राइंगल बी सी ई इफ यूल फोकस इन ट्राइंगल बी सी ई इन ट्राइंगल बी सी ई वी हैव फर्स्ट थिंग डी इज द मिड पॉइंट ऑफ बी सी डी इज मिड पॉइंट ऑफ बी सी दैट इज द फर्स्ट थिंग Second part you will see that from D I am drawing a line parallel to the side BC, right? And DE is parallel to BE, correct? So in a triangle, from the midpoint of any one side of a triangle, if you draw a line parallel to another side, then this line will intersect the third side at its midpoint. So this is what converse of MPT midpoint theorem. So using converse of midpoint theorem i can say that sir f is midpoint of ec that means if f is the midpoint of ec i can say ef is equal to fc is equal to half of ec so fc or cf is half of ec and i know beta already ec is equal to half of ac so cf will be half of in place of ef i will write half of ac so cf will be 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 is 1 by 4 times of ac theek hai it it is ac by 2 so they are again half so it will be ac by 4 this part also is ac by 4 so cf is equal to 1 by 4 times of ac cf is equal to 1 by 4 times of ac this is how this question can be solved got it let's go for the next question in the adjoining figure d e and f are the midpoints of the sides bc ca and ab so d is the midpoint of this bc c is the midpoint of ac and f is the midpoint of ab like that that is what they have given of a triangle abc show that angle edf angle e d f is equal to angle a okay angle d e f angle d e f is equal to angle b and angle d f is equal to angle c so bahut easy question hai any one part i will solve similarly the other two can also be solved hai na similarly you can solve the other two as well to beta dekho yaar first thing i can say sir let's talk about this part in triangle abc theek hai In triangle ABC, by one thing I can say, F is the midpoint of AB, E is the midpoint of AC. F and E are midpoints of AB and AC respectively, right? So obviously I can say by using midpoint theorem, by using midpoint theorem, we can say that sir, this line FE. Will be parallel to BC. FE will be parallel to BC, and FE will be 
हाफ ऑफ बी सी करेक्ट ओके अब एक बात बताओ बेटा इफ एफ ई इज पैरल टू बी सी आई कैन क्लियरली से एफ ई विल बी पैरल टू बी डी एज वेल एफ ई एंड बी डी ऑल्सो विल बी पैरल टू इच अदर यस सर ऑल्सो डी इज द मिड पॉइंट हियर तो आई कैन से बी डी एंड सी डी बोथ आर इक्वल एंड दे आर बोथ आर इक्वल टू हाफ ऑफ बी सी करेक्ट सो बी डी इज इक्वल टू हाफ ऑफ बी सी एफ ई इज ऑल्सो इक्वल टू हाफ ऑफ बी सी तो लेट से दिस इज इक्वेशन वन दिस इज इक्वेशन टू तो आई कैन से सर फ्रॉम वन एंड टू फ्रॉम वन एंड टू वी कैन ऑल्सो से एफ ई इज इक्वल टू बी डी बोथ आर इक्वल टू हाफ ऑफ बी सी अब एक बात बताओ बेटा एफ ई एंड बी डी आर इक्वल एफ ई एंड बी डी आर पैरल एज वेल सो आई कैन से इन क्वारी लेटरल और डायरेक्टली आई कैन से ना कि भाई एफ ई एंड बी डी आर पैरल एज वेल एज इक्वल सो इन क्वारी लेटरल इफ वन पेयर ऑफ अपोजिट साइड आर इक्वल सॉरी वन पेयर ऑफ अपोजिट साइड आर इक्वल एंड पैरल तो आई कैन क्लियरली से एफ ई बी डी इज अ पैरलोग्राम एंड इफ इट इज अ पैरलोग्राम वी कैन क्लियरली से इन अ पैरलोग्राम the opposite angles are equal so angle fed is equal to angle b because opposite angles of a parallelogram are equal samajh rahe ho so this is how this question can be proved up similarly if you want to get angle c and angle this part equal to prove this part as a parallelogram so you will get that this angle c and this angle f will be equal If you want to get this part, so get this part parallel, this part as a parallelogram. So you will get that this angle A and this angle D will be equal. Parallelogram prove करना है and get them equal. Opposite angles of parallelogram are equal. As simple as that. So similarly, angle A is equal to angle EDF and angle DFE is equal to angle C can be proved. Got it? This is how it can be proved. Okay? Sure. Let's go for the next question. Next question, देखो. Show that the quadrilateral formed by joining the midpoints of the pairs of adjacent sides of a rectangle is a rhombus. What it is saying that the quadrilateral formed by joining the midpoints of the pair of adjacent sides. That means this P, Q, R, S, they all are the midpoints. So P, Q, R, and S are midpoints of AB. BC, CD and DA respectively. ठीक है, it is given to us, it is given to us. ठीक है, it is given to us. तो they are saying कि if I join them, P, Q, R, S, if I join them, so this quadrilateral formed is a rectangle. So we have to, oh, sorry, uh, sorry, ABCD is a rectangle and we have to get that this quadrilateral formed is a rhombus. That is what we need to get. Okay. So I know one more thing that ABCD is a rectangle. It is given to us. ABCD is a rectangle. But what we need to prove? We need to prove to prove. Kya prove karna hai? To prove that PQRS is a rhombus. To prove PQRS is a rhombus. Now obviously, if they are midpoints, so AP is equal to PB. BQ is equal to QC, CR is equal to RD, DS is equal to AS. है ना? All that we know. And since ABCD is a rectangle, तो AB and CD are equal to each other. D, AD and BC are equal to each other. Opposite sides will be equal. Correct. तो let's understand this part. तो क्या करेंगे बेटा? देखो भाई first thing. I know that if a quadrilateral, I have to prove it to a rhombus. I start by क्या करता हूं आई विल फर्स्ट स्टार्ट विथ कि सर फर्स्ट थिंग आई नो कि सर इफ आई हैव टू प्रूव अ क्वारिलेटर टू बी अ रॉम्बस आई कैन डू इट इन टू वेज डायरेक्टली प्रूव इट रॉम्बस और क्वारिलेटर टू पैरलोग्राम पैरलोग्राम टू रॉम्बस सो फर्स्ट प्रूव दिस क्वारिलेटर टू बी अ पैरलोग्राम वंस वी रीच टू द पार्ट ऑफ पैरलोग्राम वी विल से इट विल बी अ रॉम्बस ठीक है तो फर्स्ट पार्ट तो बेटा देखो बहुत इजी क्वेश्चन है आई कैन क्लियरली से सर इफ आई लुक एट ट्राइंगल ए डी सी इन ट्राइंगल ए डी सी देखो एस इज द मिड पॉइंट आर इज द मिड पॉइंट सो आई कैन से यूजिंग मिड पॉइंट थियोरम आई कैन क्लियरली से एस आर इज पैरल टू ए सी एंड एस आर इज हाफ ऑफ ए सी करेक्ट एस आर इज पैरल टू ए सी एस आर इज हाफ ऑफ ए सी लेट से इक्वेशन वन 
रिजल्ट बन देन इन ट्राइंगल ए बी सी अब ट्राइंगल ए बी सी में भी अगेन इफ आई यूज मिड पॉइंट थियरम तो आई कैन से सर दिस पी क्यू विल बी पैरल टू ए सी पी क्यू विल बी पैरल टू ए सी एंड पी क्यू विल बी हाफ ऑफ ए सी करेक्ट तो देखो एस आर इज पैरल टू ए सी पी क्यू ऑल्सो इज पैरल टू ए सी तो यू कैन क्लियरली से दैट्स अ फ्रॉम इक्वेशन वन एंड टू सो फ्रॉम वन एंड टू आई कैन से एस आर इज पैरल टू पी क्यू एंड एस आर इज ऑल्सो हाफ ऑफ ए सी पी क्यू इज ऑल्सो हाफ ऑफ ए सी सो एस आर इज इक्वल टू पी क्यू सो वन पेयर ऑफ अपोजिट साइड आर इक्वल एज वेल एज पैरल इन दैरलोग्राम वी कैन क्लियरली से पी क्यू आर एस इज अ पैरलोग्राम वी कैन क्लियरली से पी क्यू आर एस इज अ पैरलोग्राम राइट वी कैन से पी क्यू आर एस इज अ पैरलोग्राम ओके नाउ वी नीड टू प्रूव वन पेयर ऑफ एडजेंट साइड टू बी Equal. So, देखो, we have got quadrilateral, quadrilateral to rhomb, uh, parallelogram we have proved. Now, parallelogram to rhombus, if we have to prove, what we'll do? By one thing is, कि sir, in a parallelogram, if one pair of adjacent sides are equal, in a parallelogram, if one pair of adjacent sides are equal, then we can say, sir, it will be a rhombus. है ना? तो any one pair of adjacent sides we have to prove equal. तो I know, कि sir, P Q. is equal to half of ac we have got it similarly suppose if i use triangle bcd to so in triangle bcd if i use mpt using midpoint theorem using midpoint theorem i can clearly say sir qr is equal to half of bd and qr will be parallel to bd as well theek hai that is part but this is very important qr is equal to half of bd pq is equal to half of ac अब आई नो दैट सिंस ए बी सी डी इज अ रेक्टेंगल इफ यू रिमेंबर द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ अ रेक्टेंगल सिंस ए बी सी डी इज अ रेक्टेंगल आई हैव टोल्ड यू वन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट प्रॉपर्टी फॉर अ रेक्टेंगल दैट इन अ रेक्टेंगल डायगोनल्स आर इक्वल सिंस ए बी सी डी इज अ रेक्टेंगल आई कैन से ए सी इज इक्वल टू बी डी दिस इज अ प्रॉपर्टी दो डोंट नो हाउ वी प्रूव दिस प्रॉपर्टी इन द प्रीवियस सेशन आई हैव डिस्कस द प्रॉपर्टीज एज वेल एज द प्रूफ so you can see the proof over there so we know since it is a rectangle ac and bd are equal to each other correct ab dekho if ac and bd are equal their halves will also be equal to so ac by 2 and bd by 2 must be equal to each other right to so ac by 2 is equal to pq and bd by 2 equal to qr to so ab dekho i have got a parallelogram in which one pair of adjacent sides are equal that means automatically All sides has become equal, so we can say PQRS is a rhombus. It will be very difficult for you if you have missed the previous session. If you have not missed the previous session, you will be able to understand that how PQ and QR, if they are equal to each other, this whole became a parallel. Uh, this whole became a rhombus. I have explained it clearly in the previous session. Do watch the previous session for more explanation. Got it, beta? So this is how this question can be solved. Okay. now this is your homework question okay think carefully about this question i have uh, there is a simple thing okay so think carefully about this homework question and uh, solve this let me know how will you uh, solve this question and i'll solve this part and let me know the answer in the comment section ki kaise karoge tum log hai na i will be seeing that how many of you will be able to give me the correct answer okay so as i was saying you earlier ki this is the link here vdnt.in/ytpro and this is the coupon code gpe pro once you apply this coupon code so once you go to this link select your grade 9 and cbse 2021 once you have done that what you will do click on get subscription theek hai uske baad mein you have an option to choose for one month three month or six months one month price will be shown you here like this but if you apply this coupon code gpe pro When you apply this coupon code without any space, huh? it looks like there is a space, no space. If you apply the coupon code GPE Pro, you will instantly get 15 percentage off. So the price for one month will be this. The price for three months will be this. After the coupon code, this is the price, and after the coupon code GPE Pro, the price for six months will be this. Now you can see this is the price for six months. Okay, for all the six subjects, it's not like I am taking maths, so this is only for maths part. No. 
it includes physics chemistry biology maths sst and english all the six subjects will be covered under this price for this much amount of time also one more thing which i would like to tell you all that if you take the course for more number of months the price per month this uh, will will keep on decreasing so if you are with us for a longer period of time the money wise your price per month decreases and also the second thing if you are with us for a longer period of time you will be uh, getting the uh, preparation your preparation in a in a more detailed manner in a depth manner so that will be very beneficial for you got it so this is the best package uh, for all the subjects it this price includes all the subjects test material everything it includes got it so waiting to see you all in the vedanto subscription part okay bachcho so thank you so much for coming to this video i hope all of you understood this topic i have tried to uh, not miss any important point of this topic because this session is very closely related so both the sessions of this topic quadrilaterals were lengthy but i have tried to cover everything so that during the revision part you just need to watch these two sessions and your revision is done got it so don't forget to like the video share the video with your friends and subscribe to the channel thank you so much i'll see you soon bye bye sayonara khuda hafiz to all of you bye bye